Now I am going to start the 3D resultants topic. So this is the first sample problem from 3D resultant. So I will explain the resultant topics by using this sample problem, right? So you people will learn the corresponding theory using these sample problems. So it is this first sample problem. So in this problem it is said they determine the resultant of the force and couple system which acts on the rectangular solid. So we have this rectangular solids and there are several forces and couples which is acting on this 3D rectangular solid, right? So we will find the resultant of all the forces and the resultant moment of all the forces about point O, right? So this is that point O. So first we will find the resultant. So the resultant is equal to summation of all forces, right? So and then R x, the component of R along x is equal to summation of all forces along x and R y is equal to summation of all forces along y. And similarly, R z will be equal to summation of R forces along z. So then we will be able to write R resultant as a vector like this. So R x i plus R y j plus R z k, right? So we will have this uh, resultant vector, right? So first we will find this resultant. So first what we will do, we will use this equation R x. R x is equal to summation of all forces along x. So now as we can see, this is the positive x axis, this is the positive y and this is the positive z, right? So first we will take the summation of all the forces that are along the x axis, right? So this is the x axis. So this 80 Newton is along x, right? And this 80 Newton is along x, right? So we have two 80 Newton forces. So one is in the negative x and the other one is in the positive x, right? So if we write, so this will be equal to, so if I first write this one, so this one is 80, right? And it is in the negative x, right? So I will write minus, and this one is in the positive x, so I will write plus 80, right? And we can write that these forces are along i, so this is our x. So this means that our x component is 0. So the our x component of the resultant comes out to be 0, right? Now we will find our y. So our y will be equal to summation of all forces along y. So then this is our y axis, is this one. So we will add up all those forces which are along y, right? So this 100 Newton and this 100 Newton, they are along y. So if I write, so then this will be equal to, so this 100 is along the positive y direction, right? So we will write plus. And this is in the negative y, right? So we will write minus 100, right? So also the ry component, and if we write that these are along the y axis, so we will write j. So then the r y component of the resultant comes out to be 0 as well, right? Then we will find the r z component. So the r z component, so we will take all the components along the z, all the forces along the z, right? So r z will be equal to the summation of all forces along z. So now this is the z axis, so we will consider this 50 Newton force and then there will be one another force in the this one, this 50 Newton, right? So again, this one is in the positive z, so I will write plus 50, and this one is in the negative z, so I will write minus 50, and then we will write k with it since the forces are in the z direction. So again, we get the zero vector, right? So our z is also zero k. So this means that the resultant components, all the components of resultant are zero. So the resultant is zero. So we can say that the resultant is zero Newton. All the forces cancel out each other, right? So this is the resultant of all these forces. So here is a hint written, right? So here it is said that since the force summation is zero, we conclude that the resultant, if it exists, must be a couple, right? So so the summation of force is zero. So from this result, we can conclude that there will be only a couple, right, acting on this uh, 
3D rectangular solid, right? Since the couple forces always cancel out each other, so then the, the forces that constitute uh, a couple will always cancel out each other, so the resultant will be zero, right? So when the whenever the resultant is zero, so then there will be a couple acting, right? So from this, when R is equal to zero newtons, we conclude that there will be only a couple acting on this 3D block, right? So now we will find the summation of moments about O. So then again, M O will be equal to M X I plus M Y J plus M Z K, right? To find M X, we will we will apply this formula. So M X will be equal to R cross F along X, right? So, we will identify the forces that are producing the moment about x axis, right? And then we will take the summation of all those moments, right? So, first we will find all those forces which are producing the moment and then we will find their corresponding moments and then we will take the summation of all those moments. So, now as we can see that this 80 Newton force, this is parallel to x axis, so it will not produce the moment about x this 80 newton force is again uh, passing through this point o so then it will not produce any moment and since it is parallel to the x axis so it will not produce any moment about x right as we can see that this 100 newton force this is passing through this point o and intersecting this uh, x axis so it will not produce any moment about the x axis is right and here this 50 newton this 50 newton is also intersecting this uh, x axis so it will not produce any moment about o uh, about the x axis right and similarly this 100 newton force is also intersecting the x axis and this is the x axis so it will not produce any moment about x so we are left with this 50 newton force and this couple right and this couple is along the x axis as we can see right so only we will take the summation of this the moment of this and the moment of this right so this is a couple this is already a moment so we will find the moment of this 50 newton right first so the moment the component of the moment along x will be equal to so if i find the moment of this 50 newton right so this 50 newton is producing moment about this x axis and the perpendicular distance of this 50 newton from this x axis is, is 1.6 meters right so, I will write 50 into 1.6 and what will be the direction of the moment produced by this 50 Newton? So, this will be the direction if I write. So, if I curl my right hand fingers uh, in this direction, so my thumb will point out in the positive x direction. So, this will be my thumb direction. So, I will write that this is in the positive i direction. So, I will write this. And as we can see that this couple is also along the negative x axis, so we will subtract this. So we will write minus 70 i, right? So if we take the summation of this and if we take i common, so then this will be 50 into 1.6 minus 70 i and this will be in Newton meters, right? So this is the mx component of the moment about O, right? So if, if we find the sum of this so then this comes out to be 10 i right so now we have found this uh, vector this mx component right so we can write the magnitude is 10 and the whole vector is 10 i right so we can write that this mo is equal to mx vector plus my vector plus mz vector and this is that m o vector right so now we have found this m x vector by using this equation right so now to find the moment component along y so then again we will identify all those forces which are producing the moment about y axis right so i will write the moment the component of the moment along y so then again we will use this formula summation of all the forces that are producing the moment of all the forces that are producing the moment along y axis is right so we will find this sum and about y so now again we will identify all those forces which are producing 
the moment about y axis is right. So now as we can see this 80 Newton force is again this now this is the y axis is right this y axis is so this 80 Newton force is is intersecting this y axis so it will not produce any moment about y axis right and this 50 Newton force is also intersecting this y axis and passing through this point O so it will not produce any moment about y axis this 100 Newton force is parallel to y axis will not produce any moment about y and this 50 Newton force this is also intersecting the y axis so it will not produce any moment about y axis so now we are left with only this 80 Newton force which is producing the moment about y axis right and this 80 Newton force has some perpendicular distance from this y axis and this is that perpendicular distance this thing right this distance this height of the rectangular cube and this height is equal to 1.8 meters right so this 80 Newton force is producing the moment in this direction so if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive y right so if I write so then this will be equal to this moment will be equal to 80 into the perpendicular distance so this 1.2 is the perpendicular distance so 1.2 and since the thumb is in the positive y direction so we will write positive j right and here we can see that this couple this 96 Newton meter couple is in the negative y direction right so we will add up this couple directly since this is directly the moment right so we will write minus 96 and this is in the negative j direction so we can take the sum of this so this will be 80 into 1.2 minus 96 j and this component of the moment along y comes out to be zero right so now we have found the component of the mo along the y axis right so now we will find the component of mo along z axis right so this will be equal to again that same formula so we will take the summation of the moments of all the forces that are producing the moments about the z axis right so now again we will identify all those forces which are producing the moment about z axis so let me clear this diagram again so again if we identify so then this is the z axis right so this 80 newton force is intersecting the z axis it will not produce any moment this is also intersecting the z axis it will not produce any moment this 150 newton is this 50 newton force is parallel to z axis will not produce any moment this 100 Newton is intersecting Z axis will not produce any moment this 50 Newton force is parallel to the Z axis so it will not produce any moment so we are only left with this 100 Newton force right so this is producing the moment about Z axis so what will be the direction of that moment so this moment this 100 Newton force will produce a moment in this direction right so if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive Z axis right so this is the counterclockwise moment if we look into the z axis from this direction right so now we can write that the moment about z is equal to 100 this 100 newton and the perpendicular distance of this 100 newton is 1 meter right so this is 100 into 1 right so this will be that moment and the direction is in the positive z so i will write positive k and similarly we have this couple which is along the z axis is right so and this is in the negative z so we will write minus 100 k right and since both of these are equal so they will cancel out each other so the component of the moment along z is also equal to zero right so we have only this component this this mx component which is along the i axis is right along the x axis is right so it is said that hence the resultant consists of a couple which of course may be applied at any point on the body or the body extended right so this mx is equal to 10 i and since this is a couple so couple is a free vector so we can represent this force at any point on at this uh, at any point on this rectangular solid right so this could be the direction of that moment but this 
couple should be parallel to the x axis is right and what is the direction so this is the positive direction right so this is plus 10 i so what we will do we will have to draw the direction in such a way that the thumb direction should be in the positive i direction right so if i draw that direction like this right so when we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so our thumb will point out along this arrow right so this is the representation of this couple 